Thanks all for coming. I know some of you got your tickets at the last minute, but glad to see you here. So we're going to get through some housekeeping and agenda type of things real quick. Then Nishant is going to get up and talk to us about why we're here. All right. So real quickly, there's a couple of things. Why are we here? What Startup Weekend is? Some of you have heard of it for the first time. Startup Weekend is a nonprofit based out of Seattle. There's over 200 events scheduled every year across the world. 40,000 entrepreneurs and techies have gone through Startup Weekend in one city or another. There's over 200 cities in 90 countries where Startup Weekend is done. This is our fifth event in India. Uh, we started right here at the American Center back in March, and we're back here finishing off the year. You guys may want to make note of a couple of these things over here. The hashtag, Twitter hashtag is hash SWDEL. So hopefully some of you will be tweeting about what's going on this weekend. That's the tag you can follow, and hopefully you'll be able to follow each other and stuff after that also. Um, uploading, if you're taking pictures and videos and stuff like that, you can throw them up on YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Flickr, whatever. But use those tags so we can all find it. And I think we have the Pitch Bucket guys here who developed a great app for us at Startup Week in Gurgaon a month ago, uh, which will go out and pull all this stuff and put it in one centralized repository if you use these tags. If you don't use these tags, we won't be able to find it. So try to use these tags if you're taking pictures and videos. Uh, bathrooms, <coughs> right outside, straight up. <coughs> one other thing, please clean up after yourselves. All right. There's no food allowed in any of the rooms, so please stick to the uh, atrium area for your food. Throw stuff out, please. I don't need to be picking up after you guys. I always wind up doing so. I don't want to. So please pick up after yourselves. You know. <laughs> um, okay. Wi-Fi. One of the most important things that you guys are probably looking for. There are two Wi-Fi access points in here. <coughs> The first one is basement, that's the code to get onto the Wi-Fi. Then you also have, I think that's the right one, AMCTR iPad. Same password for that as well. So you, you can jump on. I would ask all of you, for now, you can use as many devices as you want, it doesn't matter. When we start the voting, <coughs> please stick to one device on Wi-Fi. Please turn off your phone and your laptop if both are on Wi-Fi, turn off one of them just because we don't want to overload the Wi-Fi suddenly and find out we can't vote and get through the night. Um, mentors and speakers. There are a couple of mentors here today, but most of them will be here tomorrow. Now, I know a lot of you are here to hang out with Geeks on a Plane. They will be arriving tomorrow around lunchtime. Okay? They're flying in today. They'll get here late tonight. Hopefully, if their flight lands with all the fog, uh, three o'clock is when they're supposed to arrive this morning. So let's see, hopefully by two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, they'll be here. Uh, we have some other great mentors who will also be arriving tomorrow morning. Uh, Samir from Morpheus is gonna be here. And right now we're gonna have one nice long discussion with Nishant, uh, who's gonna talk to us. Uh, Nishant is here from Canaan Partners. We had another speaker, uh, the builder Boyle from Zamato, but unfortunately he broke his nose and won't be able to join us. So, um, if any of you are blogging uh, about the event or tweeting about it, you know, please try to add the SWDEL hashtag so we know what you're blogging about. Schedule. All right, so we're kicking off right now at seven o'clock. Uh, Nishant is gonna come up next. After that, we're gonna start the pitches. We have two uh, pitches from the American Center today. Uh, we're gonna hear one special pitch, that's gonna be the first pitch. Then we have somebody else here from the American Center who wants to pitch an idea. Those are gonna be our first two pitches. After that, we're gonna go into our normal pitch routine. You will all have 60 seconds to pitch your ideas, okay? 60 seconds, stop. I will stop you before you hit 61 seconds, okay? 60 seconds, I'll give you a quick run through of what your pitches need to sound like. Here's a quick schedule. We might move things around if we need to, but we will try to be out of the American Center tonight and tomorrow night by 11.30. So if you need to make arrangements to get home, please make those arrangements now while you can. There are some people here who offered 
uh, some of the more adventurous techies who want to code all night. There's a place in Noida, I think it was uh, a big, uh, yes. Yeah, if any, uh, anyone wants to like, carry on through the night working, they can come to Noida. I can get them there. Okay, so start coding tonight. Um, tomorrow, you know, doors open at 8.30, Donald? Yes, 8.30. Doors open at 8.30. We'll have breakfast around 9, 9.30. Uh, mentors will start arriving around 10, and you guys are just going to be working throughout the day tomorrow. Sunday, uh, again, we'll open doors at 9 o'clock. Uh, breakfast around the same time and soon after that you guys are going to need to start practicing your demos and your pitches all right we're, I'll, I'll get into that later on but basically what you need to do is check your emails I will be communicating with all of you via email if you miss an email check the blog if you can't check the blog check Twitter there will be constant information that I will be bombarding you with so I need you to make sure that you read it and don't come to me and say, oh, I didn't see that email. Because it's critical that we get through this 54 hours in a very timely fashion. So please keep uh, your emails open at all times. Just a quick note on our sponsors. You know, American Center, we wouldn't be here without all of you. Thank you so much for all of your support and help uh, again. Uh, we have some great prizes uh, this time lined up from T Labs, Big Rock, Start Well Startup Bootcamp, uh, Gadgets, Dunin, Zappe, Morpheus. Some of you have got your coupons for MobiQuick already. Uh, so thank you to all of our sponsors. These are our global sponsors: uh, Microsoft, Twilio, Google, uh, Kaufman Foundation, Amazon. Uh, all the teams after their forum tonight will be getting a $50 credit towards Amazon Web Services. This is for you to build your app on over the weekend if you choose to do so. If you don't want to use it, that's fine, that's up to you, but we will be providing you a $50 credit so that you can use Amazon Web Services uh, this weekend. Google is doing something special with Start Weekend. Unfortunately, it was a little too soon uh, for them to get something in motion for the Delhi event, but going forward, uh, we're having events in Bangalore next month. We're planning out uh, Mumbai in February. So we should be having a Google Technology User Group boot camp before Startup Weekend. And the purpose of this will be to give some of you an opportunity to learn about some of the technologies that Google is going to make available, give you some training on those technologies, so you can actually use them during Startup Weekend. All, right? All that stuff will be going up on the websites for each individual city. OK. so. This is a little quick note about the voting. This is an app uh, that was developed by Chitanya. I don't know if Chitanya is in, in the room right now. Yeah, there he is. Uh, it's an app that was developed by Chitanya. We're using it for the second time. Uh, so it might be a little bit quirky at times, uh, but I think it should work pretty well for us. Uh, so just bear with us if there are problems. That's the URL that you will use to do your voting. You can go to it right now and you'll see a blank page. But later on, it'll be filled in with all of your pitches and you will have an opportunity to vote on three ideas. You cannot vote for your own idea if you've pitched one. Okay? You can vote for three additional ideas other than your own. After you're done voting, we will tally up the votes and I think we'll probably form somewhere between 10 and 15 teams. I don't know exactly yet how many there will be, but most probably it will be about 15 teams that we will form. Some of you who will pitch ideas, you will not get enough votes to form a team. That's okay. You're not here just to pitch your idea and build on your idea. You're here to network with everyone else in this room. You're here to collaborate and you're here to learn. <coughs> most importantly, you're here to have a lot of fun. So keep an open mind. If your idea does not get enough votes, that's okay. Join another team. Talk to the people who, are, who have pitched other ideas who are forming teams. Try to get on other teams. Okay? If anyone does have a problem, you can't get a team or you're not finding a team or something, feel free to come and talk to me or any of the other organizers. We're all wearing the black Startup Weekend t-shirts. So you can come and talk to any one of us. Okay? 
Yeah. Uh, what if you don't have a laptop today? Can we, how can we vote? You can share a laptop with somebody else who has one. It's about collaborating, right? <laughs> so if you don't have one, collaborate with somebody. All right, we're going to just go into a, a quick <coughs> bunch of resources that, and methodologies that you may want to use over the weekend to try and get a prototype built by Sunday. Nothing too serious, just a couple of basic things. You know, again, for the pitches, 60 seconds. I will stop you at 61. There will be a loud timer that will be going on that will start buzzing and stop you. Please stick to the 60 second rule, okay? If after everyone has pitched one idea, if there is time, we will allow people to pitch a second idea. If we still have time, we'll go into a third idea, okay? Um, this is a quick rundown of what your pitch should look like. In the first five to 10 seconds, just quickly tell us who you are. Tell us what's the problem, tell us what your solution is, and tell us who you need. If you're a programmer and you're looking for a designer and a marketing person, tell us that at the end of your pitch. You're looking for a marketing person and a designer. If you're a designer and you're looking for a programmer, tell us that you're looking for a programmer. So again, who are you, what's the problem, and what is your solution? That's important. How are you going to solve the problem? Because that's what's going to interest everyone else in this crowd to vote for your idea. Building a team. Again, we're here to collaborate, <coughs> meet people, network. Now most of you go to events where you stand around, you talk to people, you shake hands, you pass out business cards. Not an ideal way to find a co-founder or potential senior uh, person on your team. You're going to be spending the next 54 hours working together. You will see how other people work. You will see how well you work with them. It's an opportunity for you to meet other co-founders. So focus on your team, not on your idea. Some of you will have questions about people stealing your idea. If you're worried about somebody stealing your idea, don't pitch it. But my personal point of view is your idea doesn't mean anything. Somebody else is already thinking about it. It's all about your team and the execution that matters. So focus on the team, focus on the execution. Okay? Any questions? All right, this is kind of a crazy slide, so you guys can figure it out for yourselves. Um, tonight, after we're done with creating the teams, you want to quickly sit with your team and you want to figure out your strategy for, uh, for the weekend. How are you going to get a prototype built to showcase on Friday, on Sunday evening? What are the del del uh, deliverables going to be for your prototype? MVP is a minimum viable product. You're not building a full-blown product this weekend. You're going to focus on what is the bare minimum that your product needs to be a viable startup. Okay? Uh, by Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, you should start coding. If you haven't started coding by 11 o'clock, chances are you will not get a product built. Okay, so highly advise the business people on your team to go out to CP and start doing some customer validation. The programmers and the designers start laying out your screen, start building your product by tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Okay, um, by tomorrow afternoon, like I said, uh, Geeks on a Plane will be here, and so will a bunch of the other mentors. So use that time to go through various <coughs> aspects of your idea and what your team is working on. You will probably make significant changes to your idea by tomorrow afternoon from what you pitched tonight. And by Sunday, it will look very different from what it was on Friday night. So use the mentors, talk to them, figure out you know, what are some of the holes in your ideas. There will be mentors from the technology side, there will be mentors from the product development uh, side, and there will be pure business uh, mentors as well. So definitely take advantage of that. By Sunday afternoon, Around 1 o'clock, we'll open up the auditorium. 1 o'clock, you will come in and you will start practicing your demos and your pitches. You will come up here, you will put your laptop in. If you're doing a video, make sure your uh, internet is working, make sure your video is working, make sure the sound is working, make sure everything is working. Because come 5 o'clock, when we start the demos, you will have exactly 5 minutes to do your presentation. If your technology is not working, 
Sorry, <coughs> we're not going to wait for you. So we're going to be very strict on time. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Uh, what if we have something uh, done already? You cannot pitch an idea that has been launched. Okay, it's not launched. If it's a product that is completely built, you can't pitch it. It defeats the purpose of building a prototype in 54 hours. You know, so if, if the point of this is to actually build something from an idea in 54 hours. Um, if you've already built something completely and or even 50%, you know, I'm not going to stop you. If your team is, uh, you know, really gung ho about it, okay, but it kind of defeats the purpose. So I would suggest that you not pitch ideas that are, you know more than 10 or 20 percent done because it wouldn't be fair to the other teams as well right um in terms of managing your project for the weekend yeah can we put your idea similar to an existing product absolutely if you think it's different enough from an existing product that makes it a viable business sure and by the way you don't have to pitch only business ideas you can come up here and pitch an idea for a community project. You can come up here and pitch an idea for a nonprofit or an NGO. It can be anything, all right? It doesn't have to be solely a business idea. Uh, and at the start of Week in Hyderabad, we had two companies that pitched NGO ideas, and they both did very well. I forget if one of them won or not. Giving for good. Yeah, giving for good, and there was another one also. Um, so, and Star Week in New York, we had a couple of people that built community projects, one of them being Adopt-A-Hacker, where the point is, let's build a tech community in New York. You know, so if any of you techies over here want to go to New York for a weekend, go to Adopt-A-Hacker and you'll get uh, some very, very prominent people who will offer a couch or a spare bedroom to you, and you can hang out there. You know, they'll introduce you to people, you'll go with them to meetings, it's, very, it's a very cool idea. Got written up by Mashable two days after they built it. Oh, so project management. You know, so just a couple of things. You know, you want to do things pretty quickly. You don't want to sit in meetings and kind of going back and forth on features a whole lot. Take whatever ideas you have, put them all on the table, right? Choose only the core features that will go into your minimum viable product. Your MVP is what you want to focus on. What is the bare minimum you need to make this? <laughs> something that can be built into a business, right? Or a community project or something else. Um, try to allocate your time wisely and allocate your deadlines uh, and try to stick to them because you only have 54 hours to get this done. Uh, here are some tools that you may want to look up online if you haven't already. You know, you can go out across the street to one of the stationaries, pick up a bunch of post-its, throw them up on the wall uh, if we're allowed to. Are we allowed to stick post-its on the wall? Yeah? Okay. So yeah, throw up a bunch of post-its, figure out how your project is going to work, you know, what ideas you have, what tasks you have, how you move through them. Um, you can pull, uh, pull up a business model canvas, work through that way. Uh, another kind of weird slide here. Uh, you. There's a lot of tools you can use, like surveys and stuff to kind of do some validation. Some of them might be online surveys, but if you're working on an offline idea, you may actually want to go out into the marketplace and talk to your customers. So a month ago at Startup Weekend Grobel, we had uh, the first place winner who, uh, their idea was to build a, network, a social network or a professional network for blue-collar blue workers in India. I'm sorry? A LinkedIn for blue collar. Yeah, LinkedIn for blue collar workers. And, you know, most of their customer base is not online. So they spend uh, a day and a half out talking to security guards, maids, drivers, uh, making videos together and using that as part of their presentation. And then they had a demo which was separate. So, you know, depending on whether your idea is a mobile idea, whether it's a web based idea, or it's a completely offline idea. You may want to do your customer validation and things a little bit differently. <coughs> Sunday presentations, very quickly again, focus on your product. A lot of the panelists are not going to want to see a bunch of PowerPoint slides. That being said, I have seen people win Startup Weekend events purely on PowerPoint. But you, that doesn't usually happen. You have to be really, really good and inspire a lot of people to do that. Uh, so focus on your product, uh, not on your PowerPoint. <coughs> Again, 
don't throw numbers up there. We have a VC who's going to talk to us about this in, in a couple minutes. But don't throw numbers up there without really justifying them. You know. Um, again, the internet does go down. Things happen. So make sure that whatever demo you have, it will run on your laptop without the internet working. Okay. That's your backup plan. If you can do a live demo, fantastic. If you can't, have your backup ready. Um, and when you're doing your dry runs Sunday afternoon, make sure you have a timer. Five minutes, that's all you have, OK? Um, that's about it. Oh yeah, one more thing. For Sunday evening presentations, try not to switch speakers in the middle of the presentation. Try to stick to one person doing the presentation, not two or three. It messes up the flow, and sometimes it just doesn't work very well. So try to stick to one person doing the presentation. Uh, judging criteria, this was up on the website also, so some of you may have seen it already. The judges will be looking at your customer validation, what your business model is, and how well you executed this weekend. All, right? All of these three categories will be weighted the same. No one category is weighted more than the other in the judging. Okay? Again, Startup Weekend is about collaborating, networking, working together. But most of all, you guys need to have fun this weekend. All right? So focus on that. If you have a problem, come <coughs> talk to me or one of the other organizers. Don't just go home. All right? There's a bunch of you who will just get upset because your ideas were not uh, selected to form teams, and you're going to barge out of here. Yes? Uncle, say for example, our ideas get finalized by ourselves, by the market, on this weekend. So by the end of the time, will we get any VC or angel investor support on in hand? That's up to you. That's not my job. Is there anybody here? My job is to kick you in the butt and tell you to build it. Is there anybody here who, who is? Yes, there's a VC right here. He's, he's going to talk right after I'm done. Okay. So you can, yeah. So that that that's up to you. You know, a lot of the ideas will not go beyond this weekend. Some of them will. Startup Weekend has produced a huge number of startups. Uh, you know. Every other week, we're hearing about some startup weekend idea that turned into a startup and has raised significant amounts of capital. So it does happen. We haven't seen it happen in India yet. But that's why all of you are here to make that change. All right? So I know that there are a couple of teams who have come out of the other four events that we've done who are in some process of launching their product and also talking to customers. I also do know that when we did Startup Week in Bangalore, there were a bunch of teams who were contacted by VCs and angel investors directly. They wanted to talk to them about going into uh, business and making sure that they have some fee seed funding to go ahead. Unfortunately, most of these guys did not quit their day jobs. So 